Okay, welcome back. Last day of the week. It's Friday, week two, day five. All right, just a reminder, uh, your next packets will be coming out and will need to be picked up by your parents. Um, so I have those packets and have them ready for next Monday. Right, here we go. Week two, day five. Let's get started. Hey, my sister is cool. Right, we're gonna need a capital M in the beginning. My sister has an. I know it sounds sometimes it sounds like sister, but it's a sister. So it needs an E R at the end. S I S T E R. I needs to be lowercase, I, S, and cool is okay, C, O, O, L. And well, maybe you're going to say this is exciting because you really, really like your sister. So you put an exclamation point, okay? You can put a period. Alright, here we go. First one. My sister is... Exclamation point. Alright. Okay. And make sure you're practicing your spelling words. If you want to pause the video before the spelling test and practice them one more time, kind of like we do in class, we, we do one last practice before we take the test, go ahead and do that. Alright. And the math. 297 plus 136. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, 4 30, 430, 433. 5 plus 8, 13, 4, 7 plus 2 is 9, 943. 297 minus 136. 7 minus 6 is 1, 9 minus 3 is 6, 2 minus 1 is 1. That was easy, no carrying, or no borrowing. 5 minus 8, nope, got to borrow from 0, but you can't take something from nothing. Got to go over to 7, that becomes 6, 6 becomes 10, borrow from that, becomes a 9, and then 5 becomes 15. 15 minus 8 is 7, 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, 467. All right, 16 times 5, old school, 6 times 5 is 30, carry to 3, 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. New school, uh, well, 5 times 10 is 50. 6 times 5 is 30, 50 plus 30 is 80. 7 times 3 21, carry 2, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 50. 3 times 10 is 30, 7 times 3, 21. 0 plus 1 is 1, 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 51. 51, 51. Oop, I have to let my dog in, one second. Forty-five times six. Six times forty is two forty. Five times six is thirty. Zero seven two seventy. Oop! I did old school, new school first. Let's do old school. Six times five is thirty. Carry three. Six times four is twenty-four. Plus three is twenty-seven. Two seventy, two seventy, and we'll match up. All right. 7 times 8, 56, carry to 5, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 5 is 37. 8 times 40 is 320. 7 times 8, 56. 6, 7, 376, they match up. All right, 2 times 9 is 18, carry to 1, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. 9 times 30 is 270. 2 times 9 is 18, 0 plus 8 is 8, 8, 2, 288, 288, here we go, 18 divided by 6, 6, 12, 18, 3, 3 times 6, 18, 15 times 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5, 3 times 5 is 15, 20 divided by 4 is 5, 
5 times 4 is 20. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Alright, 1 half equals how many fourths? Well, if I want to get 1 to 4, I have to times by fourths. So if I go 2 times 4, that would be 8. So 1 half is equivalent to 4 eighths. 3 fifths is equivalent to how many tens? Well, if I want to get from 5 to 10, I have to times it by 2. Whatever I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top. 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 tenths is equivalent to 3 fifths. And that's our math for the week. Okay. What are we doing now? That's right. Oh, spelling test. Okay. Oh, I don't have it ready. Mr. Scanlon's unprepared. All right. Oh, actually, I am. Okay. You need to grab your spelling test from your packet. Everybody knows what that looks like. It is this sheet here. Okay, and 1 through 15, get ready to take the test, you need to pause for a second, want to study those words one last time, go ahead, hopefully you're not waiting until the last minute to study it. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go, everybody ready? Number one, number one is sister, sister, I do not have a sister, I have one older brother. Number two is Sailor. Sailor. We are reading a book called Jack Sparrow, and he is a sailor. He's a pirate sailor. Sailor. Number three is Dollar. Dollar. I like to go to the dollar store because I'm cheap. <laughs> Number four is toaster. Toaster. You cook bread in a toaster. Toaster. And waffles. What other things? Number five is winter. I am glad winter is over. Hello, spring. Pretty soon, summer, right? Winter. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video or go back. Winter. Number six is doctor. You go to a doctor when you're not feeling well. Doctor. Number seven is later. Later. We will watch a movie as a family later. When we get all our work done. Later. Number eight is Dancer. Mr. Scanlon is a horrible dancer. Dancer. Something you never want to see. Dancer. Number nine is Mayor. My uncle was actually the mayor of the town I grew up in. Mayor. Mayor. Number 10 is writer. Writer. Hopefully you will grow up to be a good writer. Writer. Number 11 is silver. 
silver is a precious metal. Not quite as valuable as gold, but it still has value. Silver. Number 12 is cellar. Cellar. People used to store their food in what is called a cellar in the basement. Cellar. Thirteen is trailer. Trailer. We loaded the wood in the trailer and took it home. Trailer. Trailer. I'm going to give you a hint on number 14. It is a proper noun. What do you have to do with proper nouns? Big hint. And this word is December. December. Christmas is in December. December. December is the last month of the year. December. And number 15 is author. An author is a person who writes something, usually a book or a novel. Author. Author. And that is your 15 words. Have somebody from home correct it, or you can correct it yourself, like I said. Try and be under three wrong. That's our goal, usually, remember? Be a little more. That's okay, things happen, just don't make it out of it. All right? Make sure you're studying. Take this serious so you're ready for fourth grade. All right, so that's that. Um, next week will be week three. We have about seven weeks of learning. So when we get to week seven, we're gonna be really excited. There might be a week eight, who knows? But I'm thinking this week seven. We're not even halfway, but we'll get there. Here we go. Let's do our reading. Go ahead and grab out your cursive sheets. You can put your spelling off to the side for right now, or you can pause it if you're really curious and see how you did on the test, and then click back on, and let's do your, curs or your, yeah, your cursive sheet. All right, Jack Sparrow. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we gotta put our YouTube up. Tropical island. I wish I could be there right now, but you do too. Go swim in there. That'd be nice. Snorkeling. Ugh. Okay, here we go. This says belonging to... Let me read back a little bit. Mind you what we read yesterday, because it was really getting interesting. All right. Arabella whistled. Do you know what this is? She asked. Her voice quivered with excitement. Is it worth lots of gold? Jack asked. It's the scabbard to the sword of Cortez, she whispered, and Jack's eyes widened. This says belonging to Hernan. This is the cursed sword that gave Cortez the power to conquer the Aztec Empire. Arabella's eyes shone with excitement. Legend has it that the sword made him unstoppable in battle, and it gave him strange powers, like convincing the Aztecs that he was a god. The Aztecs believed the god Quetzalcoatl would come back to them someday. And with this sword, Cortez convinced them that's who he was. Legend says the sword holds limited powers if the one who possesses it doesn't also have its sheath. It, uh, it also played a part in Cortez's downfall. The loss of the scabbard will cause kingdoms to scab over, the saying goes. She turned the scabbard over in her hands, looking at the worn sh leather and shining jewels and shuddered. It's supposed to be made from the innards of Aztec sheep. Delightful, Jack said, taking the scabbard from her with the thumb and forefinger. How did it get here? 
Stone-eyed Sam had it last, she said, remembering the conversation she, she overheard earlier in the tavern. What? The pirate captain? The scourge of Panama? Jack asked. Arabella nodded. Years ago, he took the sword and sheath and used them to make himself king of an isolated island. No one knows what happened to him or to his loyal subjects. Maybe the fact that the sheath has turned up without the sword has something to do with, this, with his downfall. Jack turned the sheath over in his hands, running his fingers up and down the seams. Fine craftsmanship, he thought. The sword was one of the greatest treasures in all the Caribbean, which meant losing half of what made it so powerful would rile up any notorious and fearsome pirate to the point of, well, Jack didn't really, really want to think about it. So then Jack said, why don't I just go back into the tavern, carefully slip the sack back under what's left the Captain Turnip's chair, apologize, and just be done with it. Sorry to have taken your magic scabbard, sir. Didn't know you were planning to start your own pirate kingdom with it. Good luck with all that. Ta-da, now. Arabella shook her head. You're in big trouble, she said quietly. Stealing something like this from a pirate like Torrance? You better leave Taratuga immediately, or you're a dead man. She turned to go back inside. Wait, Jack grabbed her arm. Come with me. She blinked at him, droplets of rain hanging from her eyelashes. You obviously know far more about this sort of legendary stuff than I do, and about all the local inhabitants of these waters. And if anyone saw you helping me back there, you're in trouble too. Well, 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 girl, he stuttered. Arabella ignored him, thinking about it. And Jack continued, thinking about the freedom that would be ours if we had that sword. Freedom and power. Though Arabella tried to mask it, Jack could tell from her expression that she was in love with the idea. Well, I don't really have any other plans, she said. Besides working at the bride for the rest of my life, or until I'm married, she said sadly, or until Dad dies from the drink, she added, a little angrier. I've had little, really nothing here since a nasty pirate sacked the bride last year, taking my mom with him. A big, fierce, ugly one he was, too. I do miss her, me mom. Dad and I, sh sure, she's... Well, Arabella, Arabella tra trailed off. Jack noticed the look on her face and felt a surge of sympathy. Arabella looked Jack dead in the eyes. All right, I'll come with ye. But we play by my rules here, which means no stealing from pirates, or anyone else for that matter, along the way. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a thief? Jack protested. Arabella scowled and continued. I know the perfect boat to use, an old abandoned one in Salty Cove. Jack shrugged. Sorry, lass. New here, remember? I have no idea where that is, and I don't think it would be very wise of me to ask one of those gents inside for directions. Arabella thought about it for a moment, then she pulled a wooden hairpin out of her locks and helped held the tip of it to Jack's candle flame. When it began to burn, she blew it out, leaving a nice charcoal point. Then she tore a square piece of cloth from her apron, set it against the tavern wall, and proceeded to draw a map for him on it. Jack watched all of this with wide eyes. I think I shall be very lucky to have such a resourceful mate on board with me, he said, leaning forward and grinning. Call me resourceful, but I'm not your mate. We're business partners, and that's all, Arabella said, putting a little X on the spot before handing the crude map off to Jack. Here ye lay low for three days. I'll gather supplies, drinking water, and food. <coughs> Meet me at the boat at dusk in three nights' time. Excellently done, my lady, he said, giving her a quick bow. We have our boat, but... She looked lost for a moment. Her bout of energy was over. The faithful bride had been her only home. Where will we go? Jack rolled his eyes to get the blasted cursed sword, of course. You've already said we're as good as dead. How much deadlier, deader could we be if Cortez's missing blade and the powers of God King fell into the hands of Captain Tornpants? Torrance, Alabella corrected. Whatever. All right, so uh, chapter three will be next week, week three. All right, good work. Uh, make sure you get those packets picked up.
and we'll start next week, week three on Monday. Good work, everyone. Hope you did good on your test.